just is just a little shorty, um, just to share with you folks, uh, sort of how it works when you pick your own biological parents. I mentioned before, we're talking about high precision mathematics, the first encryption code, the first star maker, the first key maker, the first map maker. And so why would I pick my biological parents to come in at the precision time in which I did? Because my biological parents became the transportation vehicle as I'm just a little boy, right? To, in order to transport me in places that I was supposed to be, right? In order to get the work done that I was supposed to do. So in other words, my parents were the transportation vehicle, which is a translocation vehicle, right? To ignite hub gates. When you look at a map, of California. Because I left New Jersey, I think it was 1955, when the mama flew on one of those, it was called a Connie, a constellation. <laughs> and so um, I wrote this down, by the way. Yeah, I'll share it with you. Intercellular. Like Dr. O. Robert O. Young said one time, the interstitial fluids, the intercell, right? So, so when I left New Jersey and came onto the tarmac at Los Angeles International Airport, I'll give you sort of a timeline if you want the locations. Would be Brentwood, O.J. Simpson territory, right? Then you have the Bel Air Fire. I shared with you about getting my parents to move me from that location uh, to Northridge because the Bel Air fire burned that house down, which was off of Mandeville Canyon Road, which was actually right around where the Mitchum family, remember Robert and James Mitchum? Richard Widmark, ever heard of Richard Widmark? Uh, what other family was right around us? But so you see how the Hollywood celebrities, the MK Ultra, the CIA, all the LSD, the Tim Larrathy stuff, the North and the South, the blue and the gray, how all this sort of spins its way into the architecture, the layers after the layers after the layers of the nets you got to burn through in order to do what? Broadcast a clear signal, the first signal and first waveform, first encryption code. So my parents were critical to make sure that I was going to be taken at the time, and these had to be very precise times, which means that the day that we moved out of that house in Brentwood had to be exactly sequenced, coded. The DNA, which means the nuclear sequence codes, had to be precise. Right? Not five minutes later, not three seconds before, but right on time. Density, time, speed, waves. Zero mass. No mass. Non-polarized. Neutral charge. So then I went from Brentwood to Northridge, then from Northridge to the Bay Area. You know what's up in the Bay Area, right? Berkeley, you see Berkeley, right? San Francisco, right? The, the meeting that they got going on, I guess it's almost over, right? Well, what's his name? Xi guy, the China guy, the Chinaman, right? Then I went back down to Glendora, California, which is in Los Angeles County, into Orange County, Newport Beach. I've shared with you about what's known as the Arches. You wouldn't believe who I happened to catch in the Arches restaurant. Remember the Nazi party? You knew who was the head political guy of Adolf Hitler? What was that guy's name? He was known as the party chief. What was it? Oh, B Borgman? Bergman? Borman. Yeah, Borman. Borman. Then you can tie that directly to Foothill High School, where I attended high school. And when I was a freshman, you know, going into ninth grade, I couldn't get into school that day. The Orange County Sheriff's Bomb Squad was there. You know why? Because the next day we went to school, there were swastikas painted all over the inside of the buildings. A bomb had apparently gone off on the library. And there was one set to go off 10 minutes before the vice principal showed up. The inside of the gymnasium was completely destroyed with an M4 machine gun, you know, a Browning 50 caliber. So I wonder who did that. Who were those folks that did that? 
that was right there in North Tuscany, right? So you, you see, you see what was going on. That's not a coincidence either, is it? It had everything to do with programming, right? Everything to do with programming, exposing the Mobius strips, exposing the biofilm, exposing all the technology, all the crimes, holding units of consciousness captive, holding spiritual energy captive in order to do what? Slow down the torque speed for interstellar activation codes. That's right. Universe killer mathematics, which is known as implosion mathematics. They wanted to implode the cycle. Because when you know that this is the last dance, otherwise known as the last dance with the devil, dark forces of chaos, right? C H A O S, a chaotic operating system. You see, this particular system doesn't have a problem if you keep running the same error codes over and over and over and over and over again. Running distorted waves, distorted plasma waves, distorted P waves, distorted P4 waves, which you can't experience being on fire or two magnets become one with a full phosphorus ignition. Now the two becomes one, the one becomes all. That means we're gifting love, eternal love, always, forever on. That means that the camera eye is always on. The first camera eye is always on. The first eternal sacred son of one, the house of one, the first pillar of pure absolute eternal love is going north and south and sideways. That's why my email name is called Sideways. Sideways Zero. Sideways Zero. Have a beautiful day. What a beautiful day to be here on the Big Island of Hawaii, the largest shield volcano, solar rishi, double diamonds, pink rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The purple passage way home. Have a beautiful day, all of you on planet Oith, Eartha, Earth Saint, Christic Spiral, going home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already home. I never left home. I'm always on fire to learn. I'm always on fire to create. And that's who we are. The eternal spirit of fire was the eternal spirit of absolute pure love. Muaya Kala Zala Unsa Unsa Aya.